Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today on Dick Cameron, we have my GMC Sonoma ZR2. Uh, recently, I've decided to sell it uh, because it's just not doing it for me. I, I have some friends, surprisingly, uh, and I don't have space for them in my car. Uh, so what we're gonna do today is get ready to be sold. So basically cleaning, cleaning out, vacuuming, and deep detailing everything on the inside. Uh, the As you saw in the probably the past two videos with this, uh, we have some uh, like the the tailgate the wires were like clipped or something so there's no like actual tailgate wires so we're gonna be replacing those today uh, I bought us a, a new set online uh, the inside is actually kind of dirty uh, I'm gonna make sure like everything is there and like there's no like so like when when I take the pictures everything like looks good uh, we might fix the slight rip in my seat um, so yeah let's get to it Hey guys, we're around back on the tailgate and uh, we ran into a little trouble. So you can show them, Cameron, what's our situation is. So, yeah, so I have, I bought these online uh, on Amazon and they said they'd fit and they looked like they would, uh, except for the fact that when you pull the tailgate down, it's kind of our fault for not really checking beforehand. But these are actually kind of like riveted on. So this is riveted on and, and it looks like you can pull these two torxes off. Yep, yeah, these two but T40 torques you pull out and then you have to grind it off the back uh, and then you have to put in a pin that has like a clip uh, to replace them. But this kit only comes with the cables. Uh, so it does not come with the, and we like, don't any pins or anything. So. Have the right stuff and then also we don't really have the time to grind and yeah. do that metal so work. I'm not gonna be doing that today. Uh, if I do anything with it, it'll be like just going to a junkyard and ripping the systems out of another Sonoma. <laughs> So let's just put that back up. Uh, now we're gonna go over to the uh, the cab. I'll show you. Like as you might have seen in the background, I actually already pulled out most All of this the stuff. large stuff. You know, coats, jackets, rugby balls, stuff like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on this side. Uh, probably pull out all the floor mats, uh, and then back in the seats, and then the floorboards. Uh, I already cleaned out the the glove box. Just it's got some stuff in there that. Uh, doesn't need to be seen. Uh, we might put on my front license plate because I haven't had it on for like nine months. Uh, and it's just because like the holes are stripped out. So I'll probably just see if, if we can get some uh, like bigger, like uh, wood, um, like sheet metal screws or whatever, just put it in. Um, funny enough, when I cleaned out my glove box, I found my pit vibers. So that's pretty sick. Uh, yeah. He lost those for like six months. Yeah, yeah, now I have, now I have glasses. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, we'll come back when we're uh, vacuuming. All right, guys, uh, we got the, the shop back. Uh, I'm gonna vacuum out this side while he's doing the, the floor mats, but just vacuum out this side real quick and we'll- Hey okay, guys, it's Jacob behind the camera. I'm cleaning the floor mats real quick for Cameron's truck. Uh, I'm just gonna use some simple green here. I've used this on my own car. Spray it down and then you use a hose, wet it, and I'm gonna use this little brush here. Works pretty good. It's already, you get all that dirt up. You can see the dirt. And uh, so simple green works pretty great for this because uh, it's uh, non-toxic and you can actually just spray it off inside, outside. Um, so uh, you guys will see these, what they look like when they're all clean. All right guys, as you saw, he just cleaned up all those floor mats and I started vacuuming. Uh, so I actually got this side done in the front and the back. Um, it's a lot cleaner for sure. Uh, like even down in the corners and stuff. Uh, if you want to take a little, I'll, I'll step out of the way and I'll let J Jacob kind of step in and show kind of the before and after between the driver and the uh, passenger side. Not that one, it's this one. There we go. See the back, and then the dirty side. All those crumbs. Oh, pretty clean. Yeah, I, I eat lunch in my car, so it gets pretty dirty. Yeah. And then we're going to do the driver's side next, and you can see there's a ton of stuff because the entire, all of the little pegs on the floor mat broke off, and it's like smooth bottomed now. So back, yeah, he's going to vacuum the driver's side next, and then uh, I'll probably clean the dash with some all-purpose cleaner. All right, guys, uh, we just finished up vacuuming and wiping down everything on the inside. That means the window sills the dashboard uh i vacuumed out all the like floor mats and the seats so we'll take a look all the crevices so yeah we'll take a look see how clean it is pretty sure this side but everything is like there's no more grime in, in any of the like cup holders or anything there's and, some but 
like it's really it's like we gotta get like a toothbrush way less and, like all of this is basically all clean i vacuumed out all the seats so there's no more crumbs uh yeah everything else that you see in the carpet is either like like this right here is actually melted into the carpet and then all those little tiny holes are from a cigarette from cigarettes yeah cameron's smoking cigarettes i'm not smoking but like the like previous previous owner smokes it doesn't even smell like cigarettes anymore but it's it does smell a little weird yeah I'll, yeah but we'll show you guys the cloth yeah so if we go over here uh, we'll show you what we detailed the inside with yeah we actually have a uh, microfiber towel uh with a uh finished fast interior like all from this from it's from seafoam it's just interior detailer so yeah it's just kind of got all black and dirty and gross but that um, just took sides. like maybe 15 minutes yeah it, it was actually pretty quick um so that'll probably be it well I'll, i might wash oh, this we're gonna, we'll show you guys uh with the floor mats in yeah yeah second, let's but... let's put in the floor mats real quick and we'll come right back all right so as you can see we put the floor mats back in uh he sprayed them down with some simple green and just scrubbed them and they're like actually very nice and clean now um i think all we have left to do which i'll do, probably do off camera is just sew up this little seat right here and here uh and then um, that'll probably be it i i might put on the original wheel at some point uh like right before i sell it just to uh like give the customer like an airbag and like no lights on the dash uh, and we might do fix the tailgate because that kind of sucks. Yeah. Um, so but that'll probably be it. If you see those, it'll be like in a short or something. It's not perfect, but uh, I mean, it's pretty it's old lot, truck and a lot better than it was. It's all old gym plastic, so it only looks like good. So thank you, thank you guys for watching. Uh, coming up in the the next week, we'll have another video on the Warrior. Uh, but that'll probably be it for today. Uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.